what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Is this what you want, black women? Look at this S-H-I-T. Is this how you want to be respected in life? Words from a Caucasian man aimed at his disdain for Meek Mills' cover art that wrapped his tour bus as it rolled through his Hollywood neighborhood. He was not for it at all. This cover art depicted images of black women in various stages of undress with their nipples exposed and abstract private parts. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's start with the obvious. A white man speaking up for black women all over the world. I don't believe him. Here's why. Black women are raped and murdered every day in this country. I bet you, you could search the seven seas and could not find one video where he went on a rant about how the police need to bring the violators of black women to justice. That's first and foremost. He was really doing a lot of grandstanding, gaslighting, and he was pretty much being condescending, thinking that black women are dumb enough to believe that he had their best interest in mind. Okay, the next thing, you have the fact that this white dude made this statement and it went viral. Well, the reason why it went viral is because he's white. I think that if a black man would have made that same statement, maybe it would have got some traction. You know, I think it would have done okay if he would have had that same amount of energy. I think it would have it would have moved some units. But I wonder what would have happened if it had been a black woman who made that same statement. Perhaps she would have been ridiculed and she was reaching, she's going too far, she's being overly emotional, right? In my mind, I'm just thinking that I'm almost certain that that would have happened. Okay, now, Let's talk about the art. Great artwork. Came front on the artwork. Great artwork. And I don't have a problem with the artwork itself. It's cover art. But it shouldn't be public in the sense that you're riding through neighborhoods where you have impressionable minds looking at this stuff. I haven't said that. There's a whole lot worse on the internet, especially IG. These little kids that we're talking about protecting, they see everything on IG. And if they go a little further, they can open up any type of porn app that's out there. And they got everything. Well, not necessarily the app, but they can easily hop on a website. So much spam and phishing going on with these porn sites and stuff. If a kid is on the internet, more than likely they're exposed to a whole lot worse than what is on the cover of the Meek Mills artwork. Okay, then you have the situation where people say, well, you know, it was a woman who did the artwork, so why y'all tripping? You know, damn, you know, Meek Mills. Uh, was presented the artwork, he liked it, and it was done by a female artist. Her name was Nina Chanel Abney. Abney, that's her name. So, damn, he's showing some love to a black woman and she ain't have no problem with it. Why y'all tripping? Damn, can't please you. Well, fam, just because a black woman 
co-signed doesn't mean that that black woman represents all black women. It's like somebody saying the N-word. Well, you know what? Black people say all black people don't like that word. All black people don't use that word. And they don't participate in it. They don't use that word as a sign of some type of affection. They don't do that. So I'm not buying that argument that just because it's a woman, a woman did the artwork that all women should be okay with it because that one woman don't represent all women. Going back to the artwork, as far as it being uh, just art and uh, you know, protected by freedom, uh, free speech and expression. It's cool for the, for the album cover it's cool if people are going to search for it and they know what they're going to look for. They're going to buy it. You know, you're going to buy adult content. That's fine. But as far as putting it up on a billboard or plastering it all over a tour bus and riding through the neighborhood, if I was standing outside with my small child, I wouldn't want them exposed to something like that. People say, well, they seen worse, they seen worse. Okay, so that means that just because somebody has witnessed murder before, they should get used to it, they should be immune to it. Well, you know, uh, she got raped. You know, I've seen worse. What, what y'all tripping on? You get where I'm going? So I think we all have to be accountable for our actions. I think that it really does take a village to raise a child. And we have to be mindful of that. Some of us are wild, wild west type parents. We let, we anything goes. Some of us are not parents at all. So we really don't understand the whole idea of rearing children and having boundaries, you know, and limiting their exposure to stages, you know, because there's levels to life. Yeah, they're gonna see worse and all of that, but there's levels. The reason why you have levels in life is, is so that you can better process certain things and deal with certain things uh, in a connection to your maturity level, right? So it's like you, the older you get, you know, you become a little bit more mature and you can handle certain things more. Now, some of us never grow up. I get that. But there's levels to it, fam. No matter what's done to protect their sensitive ears, children will eventually be exposed to graphic images. They'll hear cuss words. They'll use cuss words. But the first word your child learns should not be bitch. The first phrase should not be motherfucker. I'll whoop your ass. There's levels to it. And there are consequences, believe it or not. When you let a child just act reckless and you don't set any boundaries, what will usually happen is that by the time they start grade school, you mess around and lose your job going up to the school doing these teacher-parent conferences and stuff trying to get them to calm down because they can't operate in a civilized setting. Cussing out their classmates, cussing out the teacher, fighting everybody. Yeah, it's all connected. But anyway, fam, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I got this thing all wrong. Let me know, fam. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.